What's up, DP parents? Welcome to Back to School Night, where you get to experience a day in the life of your kids. This is DP News, a student-produced news show for current events on and off campus. DP News airs every Monday, Tuesday, and Friday in the beginning of third period for 10 minutes. If you as a parent would like to watch, visit the dpnews.org website. Did Pamela win the chess competition? Did Enrique place in his gymnastic tournament? If you would like DP News to feature your child in an episode celebrating their accomplishments, submit your stories on the DPHS website under resources. With over 1,000 students getting dropped off at school every morning, we want to try to make this experience as safe and efficient as possible. For details, here's Caleb and Larry in the parking lot. Hello, Dos Pueblos parents. My name is Caleb Severson, and I'll be your reporter for this evening. Right now, I'm standing in the Dos Pueblos parking lot. This is one of the main drop-off zones to drop off your children before school. The second place you can drop your kid off is the bus loop. Just be sure when you're here not to obstruct the flow of traffic. Thanks. Now my mom won't have to drop me off two blocks away and make me walk the rest to avoid traffic. On Wednesdays and Thursdays, we have block schedule. During block schedule, students only have three periods a day and a seminar period, where they can study, do homework, make up tests, or work on other academic activities. After second period every day, students get an 11-minute break for nutrition. Here's Caleb with more. Hello, DP parents. Good to see you again. I'm here in our beautiful cafeteria letting you know about nutrition your children can receive either before school for breakfast or during a passing period between second and third. Nutrition is free to all students. All they have to do is go to one of the carts located various locations around the school or come to the cafeteria, pick up food, and walk out. There's also a lunchtime program where you come here, you can have money on your card, or just pay the cashier. Thanks, Caleb. I'll make sure to stop by one of the carts to pick up a smoothie on my way to third period. DP Sports is off to a great start, including having the three DP graduates who competed at this year's games come back in their Olympic gear to talk to current DP athletes. For more information about our gear and athletics program, here's Yannick. Thanks guys. I'm here outside of the library where we've got a DP gear store with t-shirts, hoodies, hats, and other DP swag to wear at DP sporting events. Students can get access to all home non-playoff games by buying a $60 gold card. Please note that the gold card this year does not include a yearbook. Parents can get access to the same games by joining the DPHS Athletic Booster Club at the $100 or $150 level. All the schedules and other athletic information can be found at dphsa.org. Now back to the studio. Thanks, Yannick. We already have our DP swag and are ready to represent our school. As Yannick mentioned, gold cards no longer include yearbooks, but must be bought separately. Prices for the yearbook will increase as the school year goes on. So order online now at dpyearbook.org. Attention senior parents, make sure to get in your baby ads or come to one of the fall design nights to work with the yearbook staff and make your ads. Okay, here is some final information you guys need to know if you want to check out your child's grades and attendance. We have some resources to help you. Firstly, we have NEO, a website for both you and your child to keep up with their grades on a daily basis. NEO can also be used to turn in assignments. To access NEO, your child must invite you onto the site. The DP website provides more information on this under Parent Links. Second, we have ARIES, a website used to keep track of your students' quarter and semester grades as well as daily attendance. There is also Parent Square, an email system that parents can sign up for to receive information about upcoming events and more. Links to Parent Square and ARIES can also be found under Parent Links on the school's website. On another note, it's DP's 50th, 50th anniversary. anniversary, and there will be many events ce celebrating this milestone in Charger history. In the top right-hand corner on DP's website, there is a symbol for the 50th anniversary. If you click on it, you can find more information about the celebration. That's it for tonight, Chargers. I'm Melissa Argenbright. And I'm Lindsay Fisher. And, and thanks, thanks for, for watching, watching DP News. News. The PTSA stands for Parent Teacher Student Association, and they need you to donate your time, energy, and money into supporting programs like the Staff Request Fund. Basically, the Staff Request Fund will take your money, put it directly back into the classrooms, paying for supplies, technology, and other various school activities. Thank you, PTSA. Merci, PTSA. Thank you, PTSA. Thank you, PTSA, for all you do for Dos Pueblos High School. So a big thank you to all those involved, and we hope that more parents, teachers, students, and staff will join to support. For more information, you can go to their website at dphsptsa.com.